Hi all, welcome back to Treats with Dietz. Our theme of the day is following our faith. And what's a better symbol of our faith than a cross? So today we are going to be making something that I know you're all going to love. We are going to be making chocolate pretzel crosses. We need some milk, you need some chocolate chips, you need some pretzels, some sort of stick. It can be a large stick, it can be like these small sticks right there. And uh, I just got some sprinkles, so we're going to make a little bit, uh, we're going to get some sprinkles on there as well. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is start melting down some chocolate. All right, so what we want to do is we want to heat up this chocolate and melt it. So you're going to want to get your stove going, and you're going to want this on pretty low heat. Too high and it's going to burn. So uh, you got to be a little bit patient, but uh, trust me, it'll be worth it. We, we are going to be using milk, and you want to put that in first. You want to make sure that's hot. So you don't need a ton of milk. I'm just going to put in a little bit, and we're going to get that hot. And you're going to wait. You're going to wait until that is hot. Otherwise, uh, the chocolate is not going to melt right away, and it might get stuck to the bottom, and it might uh, burn a little bit. So we're just going to give it a second to warm up. All right, so the next thing, our milk is nice and warm. So now we're going to get our chocolate chips and we're going to pour it into the pan. Uh, once you get them in there, please note, you should be constantly stirring. Make sure you're getting all the edges, otherwise it might burn. Um, it'll take a little bit. Uh, still keep it on low heat, uh, but you're going to want to constantly be stirring it. So here we go. We're going to add in the chocolate chips. And then we're going to keep stirring to make sure. Now note, if you uh, if it comes out and it's a little bit soupy after all the chocolate is uh, in there, add more chocolate chips. And then likewise, if it's a little bit too thick, you can add more of your liquid, uh, in our case our milk. So this is, wow, this is melting real nice already. And it probably looks like we're going to need a little bit more chocolate chips in there. It looks a little bit like thick chocolate milk at this point. Uh, so we're going to add a little bit more, and that's okay, just play with it, have fun with it. Cool, so once your chocolate is all in melted, we're going to move it into another bowl for working with it. The only reason is because this pan is kind of hot, and uh, I don't want anyone to burn yourself, so transfer it to another bowl, just to be a little bit more safe. All right, so now we got a chocolate in our bowl. We're gonna take a couple pretzels. And we're gonna put them in our chocolate. Now yeah, let's get a few more. And then we're just gonna mix it up. Make sure these pretzels get nice and coated. All right, now these are nice and coated all over. What we can do, we can take a pretzel, take one, you put it in the top. And then you can take another one and put it across so you're making a cross. And we'll continue doing that. We'll make, uh, we'll make enough so that everyone gets some. So once again, same process. Go one, two up across. Again, one. Oops. Same process going on. Yeah, it's a little bit messy. You might not have gloves. I do, but... If you don't have gloves, that's okay. It's okay to get messy in the kitchen every once in a while. There we go. We got four good old crosses right there. So the last thing is to top it uh, with, ever, with whatever you would like. So I got sprinkles. Um, you know, if you want to use caramel, or you know whatever you'll get some nice blue sprinkles you can just kind of throw these wherever it's okay if they don't all stick that's all right and let's go with uh let's go with orange as well nice blue and orange good color combination there and there we have our pretzel crosses uh next thing you want to do you're going to throw this in the fridge I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so you can throw it in the freezer too if you have room it'll speed it up a little bit but um I'm going to throw these in the fridge, wait about 20 minutes, and they should be nice and solid together. Cool, so now that our chocolate has set, our crosses are sticking together pretty well. Um, you can just peel them off, they might stick to the paper a little bit, but that's okay. You can just nudge them off. Oh, there we go, there's a good pretzel cross for you. 
Got a whole bunch of them there. You know, I'll just dig in right now. There's a nice pretzel crosses. Thanks for joining us for this uh, episode of Treats with Deets. Uh, have fun with this one. This one's real good. I know you'll love it. Thanks for joining.